Good evening. Cardinal George Pell has plunged from the pulpit to prisoner as he prepares to spend his first night locked up. The disgraced Cardinal abandoned an application for bail today as his barrister described his sexual offending as plain vanilla and two former Prime Ministers defended their friend. Court reporter Eliza Rugg. George Pell's final moments of freedom. We got you, Pell. Got you, George. Suffocated by a media scrum and protesters, the child abuser had nowhere to hide. <laughs> Hours later, neither did defence lawyer Robert Richter when his client was remanded in custody to await his jail sentence. How will he go behind bars? I don't think I've ever commented on any of that. I hope well. In court this morning, Cardinal George Pell used a walking stick as he entered the dock. The 77-year-old closed his eyes and put his hands over his face as prosecutors outlined the sickening abuse that he inflicted on two choir boys at St Patrick's Cathedral in 1996. These acts were humiliating and degrading towards each boy. A degree of callous indifference was exhibited by the Cardinal. The prisoner has shown no remorse or insight site. In a six-minute assault in the priest's sacristy after Sunday Mass, pictures of the scene revealed for the first time. The then Archbishop of Melbourne violated both children. And one month later, the senior church leader again attacked one of the victims. The chief judge described Pell's crimes as brazen. He had in his mind a sense of impunity. How else did he think he would get away with this? He exploited two vulnerable boys. The Cardinal's lawyers claimed it was low-level offending, describing the then 13-year-old victims as naughty for stealing the sacramental wine that Pell caught them drinking. There was no pre-planning. There was no use of an implement. The offending was very short. This is no more than a plain, vanilla, sexual penetration case. Ten people provided character references for the Cardinal. These people love him. They describe him as a man who has a great deal of compassion, a great sense of humour. Former Prime Minister John Howard among those to show his support. He did so after Pell was found guilty by a unanimous jury. In another twist to the case, two hours before the Cardinal was due to apply for bail at the Court of Appeal, his lawyers withdrew the application, saying in a statement that he believes it is appropriate appropriate for him to await sentencing. Mr Richter was taunted outside court. How can you sleep at night? I'd even defend you if you were <laughs> The chief judge was furious. An assault on counsel is an assault upon the court. I would want to see that person prosecuted. This is not a game. The maximum sentence for each of the five charges is 10 years in jail. Pell's team is campaigning for the average of two years and three months. Judge Kidd reminding the public, the Catholic Church is not on trial. I am imposing a sentence on Cardinal Pell on what he did. Pell will be sentenced on March 13, ending his former life at the Vatican and starting a new chapter behind bars and on the Sex Offenders Register. Eliza Rugg, Nine News. George Pell is tonight at the Melbourne Assessment Prison in West Melbourne. Brett McLeod joins me now. How will the Cardinal be treated there? Well, his status as a cardinal will mean nothing here, Peter. Like anyone else coming into this entrance to the prison system, he'll get exactly the same treatment when it comes to assessment and also the protocols in terms of where he stays, what he wears, what he even eats will all be decided for him now. He'll have no say in those matters. Perhaps the only thing that's different about this, for the first time, there is a prisoner inside here whose former address was the Vatican. Soon after being remanded in custody, George Pell is transported towards his new home. The state's corrections chief says he'll undergo the same induction to the prison system as anyone else. We conduct thorough security risk assessments, uh, which, which uh, help us determine where they're going to be placed and how they're going to be managed. And that includes protective requirements, uh, medical requirements. More than 24 hours after the news broke, the fact George Pell has gone to jail continues to shock from anti-child abuse campaigner Chrissy Foster. This is a very hard crime to um, convict on and it's happened. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing. To the newly installed Archbishop of Melbourne. Left me very surprised, um, shocked at the, the outcome of, the, of this second trial. Um, you are surprised a little bit. Convicted. Yes, I am. I have to accept that the court has come uh, to this position. Uh, the court has 
heard the evidence. Uh, it's weighed the arguments and it's come to the position that it has. So I have to accept that. Um, but it is going to appeal. Amid calls for Pell to be stripped of his Order of Australia, the Prime Minister has indicated that will happen if Pell's appeal fails. I was appalled and shocked. I think any Australian would be uh, to read um, of those events. But you know, it shows that no one's above the law in this country. Archbishop Commonsoli says the Cardinal's future within the church is in the hands of the Pope and says the Melbourne Diocese is not paying Pell's legal costs. What it is is, I believe, individuals, you know, private individuals who have um, assisted him over, the, over this period of time. As a protester made a pointed demonstration at St Patrick's Cathedral, the Archbishop apologised to church abuse victims, some of whom have been prompted to come forward since Pell's conviction. It's, it's brought up a whole pile of the real pain for people, but in some also it's, it's, it's been an opportunity to actually finally be able to say, I want to let my story be heard. For Chrissy Foster, at court for the first time since Pell's conviction, hearing his sexual offending described as vanilla was beyond the pale. To hear people speaking like that, defending someone who would do something like that, uh, it's outrageous, insultive, and that's what um, victims have to put up with. Archbishop Commonsoli says his job now is to rebuild trust in the church, even as he keeps in contact with George Pell. Will you visit him in jail if he goes? Yes. As soon as possible? As soon as I can get in, yeah. I stand by my friends. Um, I'd stand by victim friends too. Brett McLeod, Nine News.